I'm a professor of electrical engineering in the computer science department at the Weizmann Institute of Science, uh, where I founded and head the Center for Biomedical Engineering and Signal Processing. I'm also a visiting professor at the RLE lab at MIT and a research collaborator with the ECS department at Princeton, uh, through which I have the true honor and pleasure to collaborate and interact with two amazing Comstock leaders and researchers, uh, professors Muriel Medard and Andrea Goldsmith. Uh, beyond research, I'm also involved in Israel in various initiatives promoting education, women in research and engineering, and in general, the health tech community by trying to bridge research and clinical applications. In our lab, we focus on, in general, on translational AI and signal processing in health, sensing, and communication technologies. And more specifically, I head the SAMPLE lab, which stands for Signal Acquisition, Sampling, Processing, and Learning. And really what we focus on is trying to develop new technologies that could more efficiently extract and process signals and information across a wide range of tasks, including, of course, communication systems, radar systems, various different medical applications, and biological inference. In general, we're really passionate about human health and well being on understanding unmet technology needs and trying to create solutions to them, starting really from the theory, going through the algorithms and the hardware. And we're also very passionate about education, about promoting diversity and inclusion, and about mentoring the next generation of researchers that could go ahead and do cutting edge scientific research that could impact society. One of them is developing what we call green ADCs, analog to digital converters, where the focus is really on being energy efficient, reducing power, reducing energy. And we accomplish this by combining ideas of sub Nyquist sampling, RF chain reduction, reducing the number of bits by taking the specific communication task into account and allowing for high dynamic range with a small number of bits by clever pre-processing. Another major theme in the lab is using advanced radar and communication to impact problems in health. So as one example, we've been looking at measuring vital signs using radar. We've also been looking at signal processing aspects in 6G systems using meta materials to exploit, for example, the benefits of near field communication, combining sensing and communication for various different applications, uh, incorporating physics models into AI with the strong emphasis on 6G communication networks and also applications in health and the clinical domain. I think first and foremost, educating the next generation of passionate engineers and researchers who will use their talents to promote society, both on the research level and on the education level. And a really important part of that is making sure our research environments are diverse and inclusive and educating our students to not only consider their own research, but to really be mindful of where what they're doing can contribute to society. On the scientific level, uh, specifically in our lab, we've been focusing a lot and choosing problems that we believe can have an impact on future technologies for developing countries, making technologies accessible to all, and medical applications. I think it's really important to stay curious, to go to conferences and talks, to interact with colleagues, to keep up with the rapid progress in the field. And I would say specifically to female scientists that they should really be mindful of the fact that they have a unique and important role in science. I think in general, women tend to be more interdisciplinary, very often broader in their thinking. I think they're often more motivated to interact with colleagues and students to facilitate interdisciplinary research. And in general, I think women are very often more attracted to topics that have an impact on society and they're more motivated to connect technology to society. So I think really for female students, there's a unique place for you um, in this world. And I think what's really important is to define goals and make choices that are right for you and to bring your unique talents and style to your workplace and celebrate them. Comstock is where I connect because it's an amazing platform to meet colleagues who later become longtime friends, to keep up to date with cutting edge research, to be exposed to exciting new problems from both academics and leaders in industry, to enjoy a truly interdisciplinary environment combined of students, researchers and industry leaders. And it's just a place to be energized and inspired.